What's going on champs and champs? It's FireMonkey here, and in today's YouTube video, I was going to play some Horde Rush while we talked about some Fortnite news, however, I've launched the game like four times now, and it's broken. It will not let me play it. Like, if I try clicking stuff over here, nothing's working. The only thing I can do is press escape on my keyboard to bring up this menu and use the arrow keys, but other than that, it's not actually letting me physically click on the game. So unless I want to use a controller, I just can't really play this right now. And in fact, look, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show my mouse here. I'm going to, we're right over the compete tab here. Let me, let me try. Can I, can I get the mouse up there? Hold on. Hold on. We got this. Okay. Career tab right there. I, I oh, okay. Well, you know, it's kind of hard to navigate this. Hold on. Let me, let me go ahead and put this here. We're on the play button right now. I am clicking my mouse and nothing is working. So instead, I think I'm just going to hop on Overwatch, play some Overwatch while we do today's YouTube video. So let's go ahead and hop over to that game. And, as you can tell, this isn't quite Overwatch. This is Fortnite Horde Rush, and the reason why we are actually on Fortnite playing it is because my computer got a little bit worse. So firstly, if you're someone who found this video and you're recommended and you haven't watched my content before, I'm sorry for this little bit of a ramble. I'll try including timestamps so you can skip this entire part and just go to the changes, because, you know, I don't want to, you know, hinder the experience for people who just want to hear the news part of the video. But yeah, I tried out launching Overwatch 2, and something amazing happened, quote-unquote, right? So the amazing thing that that decided to happen to me was, well, Overwatch locked my entire computer up. I was unable to play Overwatch, I was unable to go into the different menus or whatever, I was unable to do basically anything in Overwatch, and it made it so my computer was basically useless. It got so bad to the point where trying to fix it and everything kind of just failed, and the only way for me to truly fix it was to factory reset everything. So if the editing and everything looks a little bit more scuffed in this video, it's mainly because I lost a lot of project files and stuff I was working on behind the scenes, and you know, I lost some other stuff. Now, I do have the main video template for this channel still prepared and everything, but I'll have to go back through, you know, get all my soundtracks from video games I've been using in the background of videos and whatnot in order for you guys to have some nice little jams from popular games such as Destiny and Splatoon to listen to while we talk about whatever Fortnite news there is. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's finally go ahead and, you know, cool down for a little bit, play some solo horde rush, and tell you something interesting about today's content update. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have a pause button anymore. This is amazing. Alrighty, I finally set up the pause, you know, uh, stop recording buttons and all that type of stuff, so everything should be back to normal, at least on the recording side, but when it comes to all the content changes, right, all the hotfix updates and everything that happened earlier today, we got some brand new weekly quests, so if we go over here, we look down here, we have the week 5 quests that are out right now, however, something very interesting to mention about these new quests is that something is missing. Originally, one of the week 5 quests was going to be just, you know, using those planes on the different runways, runways on the map that we talked about in yesterday's YouTube video, and those are supposed to get unvaulted today. However, it appears Epic Games, for whatever reason, very last minute, decided, you know what? We're not going to unvault planes this week, and they decided to only unvault crash pads. Now, the reason why we highly expected them to unvault planes this week is because one of the original challenges for uh, this week, you know, the ones that just came out, was going to be to, you know, use those planes, fly planes around and stuff like that, but Epic Games, for whatever reason, decided literally one minute before the challenges went live to swap that challenge out with one of the other ones, which does mean you know, on one hand, we have a pretty easy challenge for this week. It got replaced by one of those, you know, replacements that are just made to be easy, quick to complete or whatever. But at the same time, it does mean that something's going on behind the scenes that made them completely delay when we are going to be getting planes in the game. So as of right now, yes, it does appear that planes are still set to be returning in Fortnite soon. However, we don't have a release date for planes, and it might be in week six, it might be in week seven, it might just be a few weeks from now, and we might just have to really wait and see to see what's going on with the whole entire plane situation. Well, that's a little bit of a plane update for you guys, and other than that, the only other thing that happened today other than challenges was crash pads getting unvaulted. This was something that I was kind of confused on because in the files for last update, I noticed there was something called Season 22, aka the current season we're a part of, you know, codename wise, because that's why we're in V22, uh, that had a file regarding crash pads getting unvaulted, however, I thought, you know, maybe it was just something old, because last it used, like, last season's crash pad textures and everything like that, but nope, after further investigation and after the hot fix earlier today, it really did appear like Epic Games meant for Crash Pads to return, which is why they've finally been unvaulted and you can find Crash Pads all over the normal island. Now, it does not appear like Crash Pads are enabled in other modes like Horde Rush, however, considering the fact that their loot table systems are a little bit different this time around, I wouldn't be surprised if you do manage to find some Crash Pads in here. However, based on my own personal research I've done, you know, before all the technical issues today, it just doesn't appear like they're enabled. So it's something that, you know, is like 50-50. It might be there, it might not be there, we're not entirely for sure. 
Other than that, there really wasn't much with this content update. This hotfix update for the week, there wasn't really anything else. Just, you know, the curious mystery of why did planes not get unvaulted when Epic Games planned for them to get unvaulted? What's going on behind the scenes regarding, you know, new weekly challenges being prepared or whatever else, but getting uh, blacklisted from the files or whatever very last minute, and stuff like that. It's something that we really gotta think of, and it's just kind of like, you know, a major theory to just kind of talk about and, you know, discuss amongst yourselves in the comments down below, because, you know, there could be tons of reasons. Epic Games could have just decided the last minute you know what we don't want to bring these back or there could have been something else like oh we have an issue with the planes if we were to release it now it'd be super buggy that is something that i feel is the most likely scenario but other than that you know it's just like a whole entire thing of hey we at least got crash pads back so we at least got something from the old days of fortnite returning today and also as a final little slight correction to the video i kind of messed up when i mentioned the weekly challenges for the plane things the planes were actually for week six weekly challenges which release in two days that is why you know they hop fixed it at last minute just now is because like you know they were preparing all the files and everything for the unvault and I think they realized that they aren't going to be unvaulting planes next week so they decided to make it so the challenge is no longer being prepared and you know ready for use next week so they can just have one of the other ones replacing it for now and then you know in a future week they could just replace you know that plane challenge put it up there in like week seven week eight or something like that so that's actually a little bit of correction there all the information is still the same it's just the week that those challenges were for was kind of flip flop and I said week five instead of week six so I apologize for that Anyways, I hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's YouTube video. Sorry about the scuffed format, you know, it just really sucks. I had my whole entire computer basically break on me, I had a factory reset it and stuff like that. Windows 11 is a curse and a blessing. I love it, but I also hate it because it's such a buggy mess sometimes. So I will see you champs and champions next time with another YouTube video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.